Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I want to talk about more diet changes that I've recently made, specifically fruit. And I've wanted to get rid of fruit for a long, long time, probably since the beginning. <laughs> but there was just no way that I could because I had so many other things to do first. But now, yes, after 25 years, <laughs> I am finally to the point of where I can tolerate pretty much eliminating fruit from my diet. And what this is going to do is dry me up. Further. You know, I got rid of the mucoid plaque, and I can tell by a lot of different ways, like for the most part, around this area of my heel, okay, is pretty clean now on both heels. Look at how pretty those feet look now. Beautiful orange color, and no peeling skin. And nothing peeling on my toes. They all look nice and young and healthy. And they keep looking better and better, but for the most part, this area in the past was just all thick skin and peeling all around here. And on the reflexology chart, this is your digestive system, the large intestine and then the small intestine, okay? And I knew that, that all that excess skin and stuff that was there was reflective of my digestive system. And I've just watched my body for so long and I've seen how things coincide with other things. This is largely how the Chinese know about the relationship between the meridians and the body and the organs and the illnesses, etc. Okay, so I've watched these things with my body for so long that I just know. And I've felt my condition getting better and better in so many ways. My nails and my skin and, you know, the acne gradually going, getting better in my facial skin and stuff. And I'll go through these cycles and I'll see things getting worse, and then I'll see things getting better. And you can see this with my videos over the last six years as well. Sometimes I look fine and I act great, and other times, oh my God, who is that? <laughs> but in addition to getting rid of fruit for the most part, and like I said, I'm not going to be a rigid, oh, I am just going with this, you know, but... I understand the concept of sweeter fruits and not so sweet fruits. And green apples, I can eat those if I want to. I can eat anything I want to. But where I'm at is I understand the benefits of the, the sour taste of green apples and the emulsifying action on the liver and how that's more beneficial for me to keep that in my diet at this time than to completely eliminate it. If I need some cranberries to clean out my urinary tract, then I'm not going to, you know, restrict myself from that. Okay, so in addition to getting rid of fruit, I'm going to try so hard to eat more and more cabbage. And what I've done is, I've taken cabbage and I've mashed it up. First I chopped it up in the food processor. And then I mashed it up in my wet grinder, my Indian wet grinder. Okay, mashed cabbage. And, and mashed because largely I've lost quite a few teeth back there and it's hard for me to chew raw food. And that wet grinder is like a freaking miracle. It's, it's a wonderful thing, especially if you have that. In addition to that, but what mashing the food makes the food more digestible because it's mashing it a lot better than your teeth could ever do, even if you had perfect teeth. And so, um, you know, cabbage is like the miracle gastrointestinal healer. And it's got a lot of sulfur in it, and it's got a lot of acidophilus in it. It's got a lot of L-glutamine which is an amino acid that helps to rebuild your digestive tract, the mucosal lining in your digestive tract. And, you know, like I said, see, 
I've known about cabbage since I, I remember seeing cabbage juice in bottles at this little health food store in San Diego in the early 90s. Okay, so I've known about this for a long time. But how many people just want to eat cabbage, can eat cabbage raw, you know, regularly, without a bunch of things added to the cold coleslaw? You know, <laughs> you could add peanut butter to the shit if you want to and make it largely worthless. <laughs> <laughs> not worthless, but I'm telling you, it's not just a matter of eating good foods, but it's also largely a matter of what you're not eating. And so, you know, the freer and more raw, obviously, but can everyone just go raw all of a sudden? Some people can. We've seen them. But can everyone? No! And you have to take this at your own pace and do things when you're ready. And if you break that rule, you're going to get in trouble and then you're going to go backwards. Instead of progressing, you'll have to, to take three steps back and you'll be off in, in worse shape than you were before. So like I said in the previous video, you've got to do things one step at a time. And that's where I am today. And um, look how beautiful my skin looks. Look at that. Look at that. I've lost eight pounds from getting rid of all of that nut butter and seed butter and just eating the nuts and seeds in uh, just out of the shells and only maybe a half a dozen a day. Eight pounds gone. Okay, and the little white spots showing what I believe to be um, viruses of so, some sorts that are similar to, see, can you can see the, the warts and little warts on my knuckles getting smaller and smaller. The more of all these foods and the cleaner the foods are that you can consume, the more it's going to continue to clean all of this stuff out of your body. But you see... I had to eat tons of nuts and seeds for a long time because what that does is it helps you to to dilute all of the toxins that are in the fat already on your body. So you're going to burn out when you exercise the fat into your bloodstream that's already on your body. And it's got high concentrations of toxic elements in there. But what you want to do is consume a crap load of a natural food that's got clean fat in it like nuts and seeds. And that's why the nuts and the seeds are so freaking expensive nowadays. Because people are eating crap loads of them to try and dilute the toxins in their bodies. And what they're learning is that, if you don't know this already, you've got to clean up your environment. Read the book, Healing, uh, uh, Natural Household. How to Have a Natural Household by Lynn Marie Bauer, something like that. And clean up, get rid of the carpet and all the toxic everything in your life, in your house, in your fridge, everything. So that's where I'm at. Check it out. I got me a couple of new small rollers. This is the 3 inch. This is the 4 inch. I now have one of each size. I've got the 5 inch roller. This is how much I love these Lana rollers and the six inch Lana roller. And this is so great for getting into places that like knots. That little one digs knots out of your shoulder. So good. <laughs> I'm psyched. It's great. You can see those on my website right there. And um, yeah, we're just about to the 10 minute mark, which means I'd like to shut this video down. I want to thank you for joining me. I hope everything is good.